Toastmaster, fellow Toastmaster, and most welcome guests. I would like everyone to turn to your neighbor and repeat after me. Turn to your neighbor next to you and repeat after me. Whatever it is, let it go. Now let's say it with power and conviction. Repeat it again. Whatever it is, let it go. I'm reminded about reading the story about how over in Africa, when a hunter wants to catch a monkey, he will set a trap. The monkey will simply walk to the trap. A few minutes later, he's caught. Well, as I was reading, I was like, man, monkeys are fast. They jump around. How could you easily catch a monkey so fast? Well, as I further explored, I realized that what the monkey trappers would do is they would take a coconut, anchor it on a tree, and drill a hole in the coconut. Now, what's so important about this hole is the hole is large enough for the monkey to slide his hand in as long as his hand is empty and extended. But the hole is also small enough that when the monkey makes a fist inside of the hole, he can't take his hand out. So the second thing the trapper will do is take a non a worthless item, a shiny pebble, and put it inside the coconut. And then he'll hide. The monkey will come, walking along, notice a shiny object inside the coconut, and monkeys being curious, he will stick his hand inside. Once he stick his hand inside the coconut, he grabs it. Once he grabbed the pebble and tried to take his hand out, he stopped. Now at that moment, the monkey trapper just simply walks up to the monkey. Now mind you, the monkey has his hand stuck in the coconut and he's screaming for his dear life. But at the same time, the monkey has two decisions. Let go of the pebble and run free, or stay there and try to grab the pebble out of the coconut. The monkey chews the ladder. So the monkey keeps his hand inside the coconut, and he's trying his best to get out. He's trying to get out. He's screaming. He's, he's screaming for his life, trying to get out. He just can't. So he chooses his own freedom for that little pebble. The question I have for you today, what is something you're holding on to that if you don't let go of it, you will give up your freedom. Now, I don't know if it's something that you had in your past that you've been through. I don't know if it was a bad relationship that you've been through. I don't know if it was a failure that you experienced. But I was always told, please don't let your past and your negative present poison your future. I was always told a setback it's a setup for a comeback. So guys, if you ever failed in your past, please let it go. If you ever experienced a negative relationship or a bad relationship, please let it go. Because your freedom is dependent upon it. Now, there are two reasons I feel you should let go something in your life. Because I think that is very bad for your spirit. If you let go of something that's bad for you, I truly believe that what it's going to do overall is going to increase your happiness. Because when it's all said and done, Richard, at the end of the day, I truly believe that everyone is in pursuit of their happiness. In fact, there was a movie about that Will Smith played, and it was called Pursuit of Happiness. And in this movie, Chris Garner, he was going after his happiness. I truly believe we're all the same in here. I think we all, at the end of the day, we want to be happy. But see, being happy, it involves taking risks. You see, people don't want to give up something because they feel like it would be too much. They're comfortable. But see, it was David Biscott that said, if you're not willing to risk, you can't grow. And if you can't grow, you can't be your best. And if you can't be your best, you can't be happy. And if you can't be happy, what else is there? See, even if you read the Declaration of Independence today, it said that we are entitled to life liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. 
See, I truly believe we all want happiness. I truly believe that everyone in here think that happiness is to go. But remember, it's what you feel <clears throat> happiness is. Secondly, in addition to happiness, I think that if we let go of what's holding on to us, if we let go of what's have us captive, I, feel believe, I, I, I believe that it's going to open our mind to a better living. See, this mind is a wonderful thing. Everything you think of starts in your mind. I believe what you think determines what you say. What you say determines what you do. What you do determines your habits, and your habits determines your destiny. But see, it all starts here in your mind. It was Napoleon Hill said, anything the mind can conceive and believe, it can achieve. But see, it starts with the mind. I believe the mind is just like a parachute. It only works when it's open. Take care of your mind. Harness your mind. I talk about this all the time. I talk about taking care of your mind and then bombarding your brain with brilliance. Ladies, that's the only way. Lana talked about that. He talked about studying. Studying is the best way. I heard Mike talk about traffic today. I love traffic. Because that's when I get to stay in my car and I get to listen to all the great orators of this world. My car is considered a university on wheels because that's what I do. I study while I'm in my car. So I truly believe if you let go of what's holding you, you will be more in pursuit of your happiness and you will be able to clear your mind of all the clutter that's in there. I would like to leave you with this. Something that I live by. When the sun announces the dawning day, just flex your muscles and start on your way. Go over or under, around or through any obstacle or hurdle that challenges you. Cast aside the failures of yesterday. <laughs> Forget the peaks and the valleys that has paved your way. Wipe the sweat from your brows and the dust from your shoes. Take a breath and relax so that you may begin anew. Forget the burdens and the obstacles that have held you back. Focus on your dreams and prepare a plan of attack. There are battles awaiting to challenge your success, daring you to stand tall and to give it your best. No matter how great the journey or how heavy the load, no matter how steep the mountain or how rough the road, when your arms get weary and your legs give way, just stop and rest for a moment, for it will be okay. Madam Tate, Master. So much.